Erdogan's supporters, as well as his opponents, gathered outside the White House during his meeting with the U.S. president Tuesday. At a joint news conference, Trump was circumspect about Turkey's concern regarding terrorism. We support Turkey in the first fight against terror and terror groups like ISIS and the PKK and ensure they have no safe quarter, the terror groups. But he gave no indication that he would withdraw support for Syrian Kurds at Erdogan's urging. We should never allow those groups to manipulate the religious structure and the ethnic structure of the region, using the fight against terrorism as an excuse. Erdogan also failed to persuade the United States to extradite Turkish cleric Fethullah Gulen, whom he accuses of inciting last year's failed coup against his government. Analysts say Turkey's authoritarian leader did not expect concessions on these two major points, but was likely reaching for other useful deals. It's very likely that he got additional support on uh, internal security in within Turkey against the PKK and possibly the, uh, a, a okay to attack uh, uh, Sinjab in uh in northern Iraq. Middle East expert Howard Eisenstadt spoke to VOA via Skype. He said Erdogan's meeting with Trump adds to his prestige at home. The United States has condemned the failed coup against Erdogan last year, but it also has criticized his crackdown on suspected leaders of the coup, as well as journalists and dissidents. It's an unhappy marriage, but like a lot of unhappy marriages, there are good reasons to stick together and uh, the costs of a divorce are very high. So what I, what I really expect is for uh, the U.S. And, and Turkey to sort of trundle along unhappily for the foreseeable future. As a NATO member, Turkey is part of a strong military alliance with a worldwide intelligence network its security depends on. The United States has a powerful regional partner in Turkey and access to strategically important military bases. Zlatica Hoke, VOA News, Washington.